you solve this mystery? This is the story of two friends who got into an accident while they were camping. But someone is hiding something and not everything is as simple as it might seem. All the clues to what really happened are hidden in what I'm about to say. So these two friends, a young man and woman, went camping together in the woods. The man said that he knew his way around because he went camping there all the time. So he ended up leading the way. They arrived at a long rope bridge that they both had to cross to get to the other side. The woman went first, but something was wrong. One of the boards on the rope bridge came loose. She accidentally stepped through, but managed to grab the rope just in time to save herself from falling. She shouted to her friend for help, but he said that he was too scared to get on the bridge now. She finally pulled herself up to safety where her friend said, are you okay? She said, yeah, I'm fine, but that could have ended up a lot worse. And her friend replied, you're right. Someone should really fix the ropes on the bridge. What really happened here? And who's the one that's hiding something? Can you solve this mystery? Customize your necklace any way you want. Get personalized jewelry with your name or absolutely any word. Yes, any word. Why Sun Necklace? We'll ask our 30,000 customers. Really Wear this one literally every single day. Yeah. We include an exquisite jewelry box with every order for free. You can choose between three colorways, more than 30 styles, and all of our necklaces are waterproof, which means no more green skin. Shop now with 55% off, plus free shipping. Surprise your loved ones or yourself with a truly unique gift. Link in the description. Sun Necklace, personalized for you. I just found out my husband showed his coworkers and his friends naughty pictures of me. Should I leave him? Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I sent him on Instagram. My husband and I have only been married a few months. Before that, we dated for two years. My husband works in a really remote area, so he's not with me most of the time. After we got married, we bought a house near my parents' house since he would be away for most of the time, and that way I could spend time with my family. There are a few things about my husband that really bother me, but for the most part, he is pretty good. He supports me financially while I'm in school to pursue my career. I just got an internship for a magazine, which has been my dream job. My husband and I started dating, everything went really fast. He's really, really passionate. After a year of dating, he proposed, and of course, I said yes. We have a great love life. I mean, great. We have a lot of chemistry together, and we're super attracted to each other. And one thing about my husband is he loves to show me off. He's like the opposite of a jealous husband. He loves when I wear cute, revealing clothes, which is not a bad thing, by the way. And whenever somebody hits on me, he loves it. He's proud to be my husband, and I'm proud to be his wife. But sometimes I feel like he's showing me off a little bit too much. Since he's away for work, he always asks me to send him, you know, naughty pictures. Come to find out he shows his co-workers part two is up. My husband showed his friends and co-workers my naughty pictures. Should I leave him? Disclaimer is not my story time. I sent him on Instagram. Here's how I found out he did it. Every single day, multiple times a day, he would ask me to send him naughty pictures. But it actually became like a routine for me. I would even order cute lingerie on a weekly basis for this. One day, my husband sent me a message that was clearly for one of his friends. In the message, he said, check out this picture my wife just sent me. And then he proceeded to attach the picture I had just sent him. For the first five seconds, I thought he was joking. You see, I would never have expected him to do that. But after about 30 seconds, I came to. Realized he had sent it to me by mistake. I called him and he instantly turned off his phone. I called him about 10 more times, but it all went to voicemail. Finally, three hours later, he sends me a text message apologizing. He said that he had never showed his friends the pictures and that he promises to never do it again. And that this time the picture was too good to not share. And it gets worse. He told me his coworkers are always drooling over my Instagram pictures. So he just felt like sharing. He sent a whole other message talking about how sexy and beautiful I am. And guess what? He asked for another freaking picture. Part three is up. My husband showed his friends and co-workers naughty pictures of me. Should I leave him? Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I sent me on Instagram. After he apologized, he basically asked me for more pictures. So I decided to ghost him for a week. After a week, he shows up to our house. When I opened the door, he started begging for forgiveness. He told me that he couldn't live without me, that he thought I was so beautiful, he just wanted to share my pictures. I explained to him that what he did was a total violation of my trust and of my body. The thought of his co-workers and friends being able to see those pictures literally nauseated me. And of course, I was totally ashamed that my family and friends would find out. I mean, what if one of his friends told his wife and then she told me something? He told me he'd never do it again and I accepted his apology. After that, we did the dirty and it was amazing. He had to go to work the very next day. And a few days later, he started asking me for more pictures. I have to trust the fact that he said he would never show those pictures to anybody again. So I started sending him pictures again. Only now it just doesn't feel the same. Before it was fun and I wanted to send him the pictures. Now I do it praying that he won't show it to anybody else. I've also come to realize that my husband knows how to manipulate me really well. Poor sexy times are so good that he just gets me to do whatever he wants like taking those pictures i really don't know if i should trust him but at the same time he's my husband i feel like you guys will have good advice what should i do i grew up as a fat kid but when i got to college i began taking control of my health and i lost 150 pounds i had a personal trainer who is now my husband he was a huge health nut to begin with and really kept me on track and held me accountable 
I've been able to keep the weight off for 20 years and we're both giant health nuts. We have three kids. Our daughters are 12, 14, and 9. We've always been strict about health with them. They each have a workout machine in their room which they have to use for an hour before dinner and if we walk in and they aren't on their machines, they get their phones and toys taken away. My two oldest girls have rebelled against this a lot. We've also been really strict with nutrition. We never had anything but fruits, veggies, and lean meats in our home, not even bread. At birthday parties, we took them home as soon as the cake and pizza came out, never took them trick-or-treating for Halloween, and had teachers send them to different rooms when they had class parties with food. We also told their friends' parents not to feed them junk. I'll admit, we definitely sheltered them from junk food in fear that they grow up unhealthy. People thought we were ridiculous for the way we raised our kids, and we were warned about them having eating disorders, but we thought we were doing what was best, and everyone was being ridiculous. Three months ago, we found out our oldest daughters, who go to the same middle school, were sneaking food at vending machines from school with their allowance cash. My husband found out about this from hearing the snacks in their backpacks and had a long talk with them about the dangers of eating those snacks and took the snacks and their money. I heard him talking to them and he was gentle and calm about it, but both girls ended up in tears. Recently, we got a call from our 12-year-old daughter's school counselor. Apparently, she's been chewing up her food and then spitting it out and making herself throw up in the bathroom when she ate lunch. They also talked to me about my 14-year-old who said that lately she's been skipping breakfast and lunch a few times a week for the past couple years because she was scared we would be mad at her when she ate. The counselor was not happy with me and recommended a treatment place for eating disorders. I feel like absolute shit. Like we've caused our daughters to have eating disorders and have to look out for signs for a nine-year-old. I called my mom for help and instead she berated me and called me a piece of shit mom which was the last thing that I needed to hear. My parents are taking my girls for a couple days while I get everything together and set things up with the eating disorder treatment place for when they come back. I don't know what to do. I feel proud that I didn't raise my kids with junk food addiction and I put their health before their tears about not eating pizza, but now it's come at a price. I've been unconsolable and my husband and I aren't talking right now as we don't know what to do. Be careful what you put in your body. In 2014, a couple returned to their home to find it trashed in baffling ways. There was lotion all over the door handles, all of their shoes had had their soles ripped off of them, and someone had dumped an entire can of paint all over the toilet. Despite the obvious break-in, the police come and can't find any evidence of theft, so they leave thinking the couple's not in danger anymore. That night, the couple hears scratching underneath their bed and what sounds like a crying animal. Not wanting to find out what it was, they leave and call the cops who come right back and start investigating the house, and they make a startling discovery in their bedroom. Wedged underneath the couple's bed was this 90 pound tiny little woman carrying a huge butcher's knife and a hypodermic needle. As they're taking this crazy lady away in handcuffs, one of the officers comes over to the couple and is like, so she was high on meth and for at least two hours, she had been burrowing a hole in the underside of your mattress with that knife to get to you. Am I the asshole for getting mad at my girlfriend because her period ruins our bed sheets? My girlfriend has PCOS, which from my understanding can mean she gets irregular periods, and when she gets them, they can be very heavy. She also forgets her birth control frequently, which makes her more prone to getting periods. Well, her most recent period has been going on for three weeks with no signs of stopping. She's non-binary and uses she, her pronouns, and having her period is something she really dislikes. When she gets her period, she always bleeds through her pad and onto her bed sheets. I've tried to be patient, but this has been going on for five years and it's not gotten better. And she never tries to clean it up. Am I the asshole for getting mad at my girlfriend because her period ruins our bed sheets? Out of the two of us, I'm the one who cleans, so I don't always have the time or energy to clean the sheets when period gets on them. I do my best to get the stains out, but once they're set in for a few days, there's no getting them out from my experience. When I went in bed today, I noticed a huge blood stain that had gotten over to my side of the bed. I had a bad day at work, and because of that, I snapped at her. I said I didn't want to sleep on bloody sheets and telling her to wash the sheets or change them. She cried and says that's a part of having a body that has periods and that she has no control of where the blood goes. Also that I wouldn't understand because I'm a trans woman. So when I was like five and my brother was like eight, he and I would fight like all the time. It would drive my mom insane. So this one time we were driving in the car and we were fighting and then my mom like pulled over off the side of the road and then was like, if you guys start fighting one more time, I'm going to drop you off the side of the road. Um, and then we just completely ignored her and we started fighting again. And as soon as we started fighting again, then she again pulled off on the side of the road and was like, get out, get out of my car. And we were like, 
huh? And then she was like, get out of my car. And so we got out of the car. We were probably like, I don't know, three or four blocks away from my house. And then my mom drove away. And just as my mom like drove away, my grandma came driving through and she saw us. So my mom's plan was to drive around the corner like, just to scare us and to pick us back up. But my grandma saw us and she she picked us up and she was like, what, what happened? And we were like, our mom dropped us off at the side of the road. And then my grandma was like, get in the car. So we got in the car and then we left with my grandma. So my caught my husband making out with another man on our honeymoon and I'm refusing to give him a divorce. My husband and I met on a blind date. Our friends had set us up and they made him sound like a Greek god. And he kind of is. He's super tall, attractive, Greek, tan. His dream is to become a politician and he owns several businesses. I own my own marketing agency and we're both addicted to work. We're literal workaholics. When we went on our first date, I was so surprised to see how much we had in common. We're both super work driven. We also found a lot of the same things funny. This was such a relief to me because I'd never been on a blind date before. And we talked about a lot of stuff, including our sexy preferences he told me he only liked women and i was like okay cool and i told him of course i only liked men he actually ended up going on a total of 15 dates before he asked me to be his girlfriend everything just felt so amazing and right we had amazing chemistry he made me laugh and we had a lot of fun in the bedroom after a few months he asked me to be his wife and i was so happy i said yes he hired the best wedding planner in our city and we got to planning we were both really involved in everything the wedding was spectacular we got married in the winter so it was snowing outside it was beautiful we had an orchestra amazing catering so i was really happy the day after the that we went on our honeymoon planned to go to several greek islands our first stop was santorini i actually got in really good shape for the honeymoon i had abs i wanted to look as sexy as i could for him a few days into our stay we found this really cute cafe and the server at the cafe was actually really handsome him and my husband got along really well so well that i caught them making out at our hotel part two is up I caught my husband kissing another man on our honeymoon and I'm refusing to give him a divorce. As I walked into the hotel, I could see two men kissing in a corner. Obviously, I didn't know it was my hubby, so I turned away. I went straight up to our bedroom and I couldn't find him. I called his cell phone, but there was no answer, so I went right back down to the lobby. And this is when I look again at the two guys kissing in the corner. I could only see one of the guys' backs and obviously I didn't recognize it as my husband. Not until I see my husband's hand creeping up on the back of this guy's neck. And immediately, I recognize his hand and the ring. I thought it was a joke at first until I could see they were passionately making out I yelled my husband's name and they both turned to look at me that's when i saw it was the server from the damn cafe that my husband and i had been going to almost every single morning the same guy my husband was talking to almost every single day the server ran out of the hotel he obviously was not looking to confront me that's when my husband grabs my arm and takes me to the pool area that's when he confessed that he thought he was bi and that he was just experimenting and he also said that the server basically forced him to kiss him i told him he should have been honest with me from the beginning about being attracted to guys and that the least he could have done was not make out with this guy in the hotel of our lobby he started to apologize but i couldn't even talk to him i still wanted to enjoy the trip so i got my own hotel room that very same night my husband tells me that we should consider a divorce and that he thinks he might have really serious feelings for the server i said no i would be so embarrassed if i go home right now and tell my entire family and friends that my husband left me for another man not to mention the fact that he totally wasted my time i asked him if we could just work this out and he's asking for an open relationship now and of course i'm totally in love with him we just got married i'm just so confused what should i do this is why you should be careful who you marry. Once there was a man who hated his wife, so he came up with a horrifying plan. But he would never expect that she was one step ahead. He lied by saying he wanted to fix their marriage by taking her on a vacation to a hotel near the mountains. There they went to a long hiking trail near a cliff. His plan was to push her and claim it was an accident. But this went terribly wrong. As soon as they arrived near the cliff, his wife said something unexpected. I know you hate me, but you have no idea how much I hate you. Then she revealed what she had done. Before leaving the hotel that morning, she wrote a note to the hotel manager saying she knew Knew her husband was planning to push her off a cliff and if anything happened tell the police then she looked up at her husband and said now there's no way you'll convince anyone this was an accident horrified the husband said what accident but before he could finish his wife jumped by the time he went back to the hotel the police were already waiting usually when my clients arrive for their appointment they're not wearing any makeup but this girl wore makeup to the appointment just to have me take it off and then do her makeup again I thought that was a little strange, but after I removed her makeup, I saw her nose. The tip of her nose was bright red and even a little bit deformed. It looked like a really, really bad sunburn. I tried to avoid the area when I started doing her makeup, but eventually I had to put makeup on her nose. And when I did, it was just not working. Her skin was literally peeling off. The makeup would not stay. So that's when I asked her, is there something going on with your nose that I should know about? Let me also just say that at this point it was starting to swell and was noticeably more red than it was when she got there. That's when she told me that she had recently been out of the country for a mission trip and that she had picked up a flesh-eating bacteria, which had affected her nose. Then she told me not to worry because she had been on antibiotics for months and that the irritation on her nose was just her skin healing. 
For once, I was horrified, not my client. I only cheat on my husband and I don't care. Am I the asshole? The only way I'll stay married is if I cheat. Whenever I meet an attractive guy, I go out of my way to seduce them and my husband doesn't stop me. This has been happening for years. I love my husband, but I can't seem to keep my hands to myself. Sometimes I don't even come home and I have no shame. I've even cheated in front of my husband's friends and they hate me for it. They've told my husband that he needs to control me more. Honestly, I think my husband is kind of into it. In fact, he's taken an interest in talking to all of my lovers. One night, my husband caught me making out with one of my boy toys at a friend's party. A few hours later, he was found floating in the pool. And everyone thinks that my husband did it. He does look really guilty, but I don't want to believe it was my husband. After that, I reconnected with an old flame and started another affair. But he's also missing now. I keep calling him, but I get no answer. Come to find out, my husband actually spoke to him before he went missing. What should I do? Guess what? I'm actually telling you the story of a new movie. Find out what happens next and stream Deepwater on Hulu and guess who is in it? If you're a fan of Jacob, you gotta run a Hulu now. Bye!